we're back with more Hype the Time Quest. Like you guys always wanted. Just like Mommy used to make. Yup. I'm Mommy. <laughs> and I'm really regretting that statement. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, so, anyways, we're playing more Hype the Time Quest. And, and uh, yeah, believe it or not, it's still not over. No yeah. matter how hard I try. Yeah, it's going on forever. Uh -huh. And, um... I'm hoping that someone will have made Hike the Time Quest 2 before we finish these, this series. So we can just jump right over to it. Yep. Or we can play that, that like, whatever it was, Mr. Playmobil Build His Dream House sort of the house. Mr. Playmobil Build His Dream House. <laughs> the grammar isn't even good. That's how bad this game I, is. I was trying to, trying to make a reference to the Mr. Blanding's Build His Dream House movie, and I just didn't do a good That's job. That's a reference that would have really hit. I I think, it's a good movie. Know? Have you ever seen it? I've never even heard it's of it. It's got Cary Grant in it. It's really good. I'll bet most people who are going to watch our channel probably haven't heard of it. I, I would like, if anyone is watching this and knows that Mr. Blanding's Builds his Dream House movie and thinks it's a good movie like I do, please comment and let Dylan know that he's a dick. An uncultured dick. An uncultured dick. Well, I mean, at least as far as that one movie reference goes. Yep. I mean, you may have all sorts of other references that I don't get, like references to the later Tremor movies. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. No. Well, you wouldn't. Because wouldn't. you wouldn't get them. I wouldn't get them, and I also don't know what references you know that I don't. It's hard to come up with examples of things you don't know. <laughs> oh God, it's so hard. <laughs> what with not knowing them? So who's this guy that we're rescuing here? Magic he looks like some king. sort of magician. He's he's the magic king. He's a happy king? He's not that happy. His wife's in prison. I'm so pleased to see them. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. Lysoff and Bobard. Nope. Ah, that's good for them. That's good for them. Gotta go back into the cells, which some of you may remember from another video. Oh, like everything in this game. Yeah, man, this is just... Don't worry, the game is currently forcing me to wait for him to ride out of the room. Is it really? Yes, it is. Oh, that's good. I was, I'm trying trying to move here, and I can't do it. Oh, good. There we go. Good. Ah, there we go, and you blew up that barrel. Yep. Is yeah. this, There's stuff in the barrel sometimes, right? Yeah, but it seems like rarely, and when it is, it's stuff I don't need, like green herbs. What do the green herbs give you? I don't know. High? I don't know. It's, whatever it is, it's not helping. Dude... Are, are I you... think the green herbs might be magic, which I rarely use in this game, as you probably have noticed. Mm -hmm. Because it's shit. Because because uh, melee is so OP. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a. Uh... Oh man. It's a hell of a game. You guys having fun yet? You guys, everyone out there. Hey, you asked for this, people. You can't. You can't scoff. No, I don't think anyone's been scoffing. We're the only ones who are scoffing. Yeah, not, it's mainly me. Yeah. yeah. To, to be to be fair, they haven't complained. It's just been us. So I mean, at least we'll give them that. Yeah. Give him daps on that. I, I wish I had chosen a different game that I liked from my childhood, like Banjo Kazooie or oh, Banjo Kazooie's good, or Mario sixty four. Mario sixty four is also a good game. I'm trying to think what else I would have liked. I did try once to play Gex the Gecko again, and that that really is not a good choice. That's a shame. Yeah. Did, did you ever play Spy Fox? I love Spy Fox. I only ever it was before I had a computer, so I only ever played Spy Fox at like. The Discovery Store in the mall. <laughs> back those, when they actually had those, and they had those like weird like kid computers. Yep. That were like shaped like mushrooms or yeah, I don't know what that apples or whatever. But they usually had a few games on them. And Spy Fox, something about something about cereal. I can't remember what the title was. Cereal. Can you look it up? Spy Fox something cereal with your ridiculously loud clacky keyboard. Oh, uh, everyone listen to my clackiness. Yeah, everyone listen to the. Oh, I got one of them DOS keyboards. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, Inspired Fox. Dry in, Cereal. Dry Cereal. Okay, so you weren't insane. No. That is a real thing. And that was the one I got to play, like, the first level of or whatever back in, God, I don't know, 2000. <sighs> when did it come out? Uh, 2001. So 2001. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 1997. And then PC download in 2001. Oh, wow. So maybe I played it in, like, 98, 99. Oh, man. We should, we should. Oh, we, we, you know what? We tried to do one of these videos once on one of the Humongous Entertainment games. We never, we didn't finish it. We should, we should do one of these. What did we play? We played Freddy Fish. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. In case of the missing kelp seeds. You know, I think they released these on Steam. They Thank did. You. Did they? Yes. I don't believe Hi. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up. I was agreeing. And it, it, they did, because I was talking to my sister about it, because my sister used to love the Freddy Fish games. And Pajama Sam. I never played Pajama Sam. And Putt Putt. I didn't play he that. He saved either. the zoo. Well, and uh, he also went to the circus. Actually, Sounds like a bragger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I mean, if you were an anthropomorphic car, you'd be too. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's quite an achievement. <laughs> that, that was part like back when they used to make these adventure games where like everything in the background was clickable yep. and would do like something fun. Yep. You remember, like you remember the little critters books? Vaguely, you would a uh, little clickety 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 clack. Clickety clack clack clack. Everyone loves the sound of my keyboard. It's great. 
Uh, this guy. This dude. Yes, I do remember that. Okay, I'll, I'll, and uh, Mercer Mayer. They made a bunch with, with him in them as well. My sister had a bunch of those. I don't know why I'm going back to that tab. And uh, they were uh, they were good. Do you know, so the tab Andy clicked on was Plex. I found myself clicking on the Plex tab all, all the, the time. time. It's 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 like Reddit in that I'll click on it even when I don't need to be watching something. Or when I'm not going to watch something. Yep. Just make sure it's still there. Yep, <laughs> just make sure I've still got it. Ah, I found good. myself wanting to download shows I know are readily available on Netflix. Yep. Just because I'd rather I've, watch them through Plex. Or if you have the latest season, but the but the rest of the seasons are on Netflix, and you're like, oh, I could just have the latest season on this and the older seasons on Netflix, but boy, do I really like the idea of having all of the seasons I just together. Want, I just want it all. Yeah. It's basically digital hoarding. Yep. I don't know if there is like a TV show for digital hoarders where they like go through your your hard drive and I mean there isn't, but that's because the type of person who's gonna watch a show about hoarding is probably like fifty five anyway. If, if anyone, if any of you out there do like you know kind of kind of okay premise but badly executed YouTube sketch comedy, you're more than welcome to take that idea yeah. of digital hoarders. Take the hoarders TV show, make a parody where you go through those hard drives. And, oh my god, do you really need every episode of Rugrats in your computer? Yep. Blah blah blah, whatever. And the answer is yes. And the answer is yes. I've never. I don't like Warhammer Rugrats actually. But. I don't think I've watched it in about ten years. But yeah. if you want to take that sketch, just run with it. Go that you have my permission. I invented it. Look, I'm in Hype's room. Are you? Yeah. You can tell he's got a Rayman bed bedspread cover. <laughs> he's got a shield for speed. You know what? This speed booster, speed busters. Th this is actually a. Uh, piece of shit. Because no. Uh, do you know? Do you ever go to Digino Gaming or check out their channel? Nope. They do, they do videos with, like, trivia about video games and that kind of thing. And they did one about Rayman recently. Shh! Sorry, this is a library. This is a library. So they did one about Rayman recently. <laughs> and um, they were talking about other place, other Ubisoft games that... This is Ubisoft, right? Yeah. That, that had little uh, nods and allusions to Rayman. And they didn't mention this one. Huh. And so I'm wondering if it's because no one cares about this game. Yeah, I think this is probably a blemish on their history, frankly. <laughs> They've probably all forgotten about it, because uh, unlike me, they realized that was the smart choice. Actually, speaking of which, the hold on, it's the ghost of Go Good. Oh no, Ghost Good, Ghost Good, Go Ghost, Good Ghost, Go Good, Good Ghost. Don't be surprised. He's the guardian. Maybe of the time. guardian of time. What work? Your recognition of standing around portals. You don't undervalue his ghost work. Much more terrifying than his tower isn't a tower. Okay, oh, well, all right. Well, this table's not a table. So good. I, mean, I don't want to get into a whole existential conversation with you. Here. Honestly, go good and is so was so annoying after he got out of philosophy 101. It was like, oh my god, yeah, okay, it's not here. We aren't here. Great, we got things to do. I don't know, how do I even know that there's a tower? It doesn't matter, go good. I'm in the tower for all intents and purposes. It. This tower here. Uh, but so, anyways, the, uh, the the racing game I mentioned in the previous episode. Uh huh. Uh, Planet of Death was also made by Ubisoft. Hmm. You know, so even though this is pre-recorded, mm -hmm. it's weird for some reason, possibly because I saw that Rayman thing on the covers, the save, the name I put on this save was Yay Ubisoft. And it's interesting that we are currently talking about Ubisoft. Yeah. Seeing as this was recorded earlier this morning. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so that's... That's his baby. Guys, I mean, these are the kind of coincidences... That just drive us. That you just don't get on other Let's Play channels. And this is why we ask you today to donate whatever you can spare to keep quality and then programming... Some, and then some. Like Dylan and Andy play Hype the Time Quest going. We're happy to send you tote bags and umbrellas with our faces on them. Just any donation, no matter how large... And you can just go ahead and send that to Care of Andy and Care, Dylan. Yep. Andy and Dylan's house. Yep. Andy and Dylan Way and Andy Dillington. Yeah. So it's just to keep quality programming like this. Oh, and, that, and that's in Connecticut. That's in Connecticut. Areas. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> and first one to send us $1,000 wins. The, 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 the joy Win. of just, having done just, that. Just wins. Is a winner. Yeah. Oh, man. You're a winner. What more do you need than to be a winner according to us? Would you rather be a winner of a specific thing or just a general winner? The answer is general because that means you could claim it against anyone. Right, you can just say that you don't need to have, uh, well, that's not relevant here. It's always relevant being yep. a winner. You can always be a winner to us. Us. <laughs> You'll be our favorite and you can come over for Thanksgiving. 
I'm, I'm not going to back that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> you okay. can definitely come over to Andy's house for Thanksgiving. Yeah, you can meet my grandma, and she'll be like, oh, you're that winner that Andy talked about, but she'll say it in Portuguese because she doesn't speak English. <laughs> I don't know what that is in Portuguese. I don't speak it. No. She may not be speaking Portuguese. She could be complete gibberish. Yeah, she could just be senile. She could be. It doesn't matter. She can make sure. Andy wouldn't know he hasn't checked on her. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a grandma. <laughs> I do, but I've disowned her. So it's time to spend 75% of my money fixing my armor. Good. Because these people are apparently keen on forcing me to give them all of my money so that I can't fight the people that are oppressing them. Oh, yeah, aren't you the hero of time or whatever? Yeah. Weirdly, that doesn't pay well. Oh, that's that's a shame. Hero of money? Whew. Oh, man, the, yeah, the hero of guardian of money is a good job. Yeah. Oh, man, that's basically secret service right there. That's where all you, all your bills and thrills come from. Bills and thrills. Bills that's and thrills, that's actually the name. That was the name of my first rap album. <laughs> bills and thrills. Singing about how you do it for the pills. Yeah, the pills and and and, and how it gives you chills. It gives you chills and then multiplying. Hanging out with Dills. Dills, yep. That's just me. Yeah. If anyone's curious. And, and Nils yep. Lofgren, the singer. <laughs> Nils Lofgren. I think that's a person. It doesn't sound like. And no, I think it's real. Who? Nils Lofgren. No, but I mean, who who's he singing for? Oh, or is well. he just a singer? Oh, no, I think he's a singer. Oh. I think he's a, he's a singer. He sounds popular. You, you're one of those artists that like you don't know where you got him, but he's on on one of your playlists. Yep. And you're looking like I don't like this song. I don't know why it's on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How did this get here? This must have been someone told me about something and then I put it on here to be polite. I think what usually ends up happening with that is, especially because I use Spotify and I don't want to get into a huge Spotify gripe. Yeah. But it's probably true of any s streaming music service. Someone will tell me about a song. But they probably got it from either some other service or they downloaded it. Yeah. I go to look for it on Spotify. I can find the artist, but not the song. Yes. I save the song, hoping that I remember that I like that a song by that artist, and then go and look for that song individually. Mm -hmm. And of course, what ends up happening is that when I eventually listen to that song, I'm like, this is shit, and I don't ever want to hear this again, and I delete it. And that's probably what happened with Nils Lofgren. Yeah. He has one great song. He has one great song that I couldn't tell you the name of because someone probably told me six years six years ago. Six, That's not true. Yeah. That's I'd not love that true. you'd call yourself out on that, like anyone's going to check or think it's unbelievable that <laughs> someone told you about a song six years ago. Andy's not six years old. This yeah. is madness. Andy hated music six years ago. I did. I lost so much music. Oh, so that's that then. Bye. Thanks for making it to the end of our video and seeing this little end bit that we've put together. If you like what you saw and want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and like our videos and put a bunch of comments telling us what you liked about it and what kind of other stuff you'd want to see. And if you didn't like it, tell us why and subscribe anyways so that you can see if we do better next time. Thanks, bye!